Okay, so lesson 100 is on algebraic addition of integers. So here we have a positive 8 plus a negative 5. So if I was to do this on a number line, I would think, okay, first I'm going to, I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to do to go to positive 8. So I'm going to go to the right to positive 8 here. Okay, Because a positive sign means we go to the right of the line. I'm going to add a negative 5. And when I have a negative, I'm going to be going to the left. So I'm going to add negative 5, so that means I'm going to go to the left 5 places. So I'm going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to figure out what that lines up with, and that's a positive 3. Okay, so there's a positive plus 8 minus 5. So my answer is 3. Okay. This one we have negative 5 plus a negative 3. Now if I add two negative numbers, I know that my answer will be negative because when I have a negative, it means I'm moving left on my number line. So again, I'm starting at zero and I'm going to go to the left five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's negative five. To the left. Okay, now I'm going to still be going to the left because this number is also a negative. I'm going to go to the left three more. So, 1, 2, 3. So that's negative 3 to the left. So my answer is negative 8. When you add two negatives together, your answer will be negative. Okay, so here I have a negative 6 plus a positive 6. So when I have two numbers that are opposites of each other, so a negative 6 and a positive 6, are exactly opposite from each other. Then I know that my answer is going to have to be zero, and I'll show you why. So here I have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's negative six. Okay, so I'm going to go down first because negative is to the left. Go to the left six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to go to the right six places. So go to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my answer is zero. When I add opposite numbers, a negative and a positive of the same number, my answer will always be zero. Okay. Here I have positive six plus a negative six. Again, these are opposites, and it's exactly the same just with parentheses around it. So that means that my answer has to be zero. So on this one, I want to find the opposite of each number. So the opposite of negative seven is the opposite on the opposite side of the number line, so that would be positive 7. And the opposite of 10 would be negative 10. Okay. So opposites allow us to change any subtraction problem into an addition problem, which is what algebraic addition is. It's changing a subtraction problem into an addition problem. So the way I do that is I'm going to change some of these numbers. Now this first number here, the negative 10, it stays the same. The first number always will, will stay the same. Then I'm going to look, okay, what's my next thing? Well, I have a negative sign. My negative sign will become a plus sign. When I do that, that means I need to change the last number. I need to change its sign. So that means that the negative 6 would become a positive 6. Okay, so I flip the sign. I change it to its opposite. So now I have negative 10 plus a positive 6. So negative 10 plus a positive 6 is equal to negative 4. Okay. Do it one more time. Here I have negative 3 minus a positive 5. So again, the negative 3 stays the same. First number stays the same. My subtraction sign becomes an addition sign. And then I do the opposite of my last number. So here I have a positive 5. I'm going to switch it to the opposite, which is a negative 5. So I'm adding two negative numbers, which means my answer will be negative. So negative 3 plus a negative 5 is equal to a negative 8. And that's it. Good luck with your homework.